Hello, hello, hello. Everything I see. <laughs> welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, come and share. Thank you, thank you, thank you in advance, my loves. You already know what it is. Kick your feet up. Get your shit. Get your shit. Get your shit. And get comfortable. Because we about to make it do what it do, loves, okay? Just a quick public service announcement at this point. Because if you do not like my intro, if I sound like Big Bird, Oscar the Grouch, any other Sesame Street character to you, or anybody else that you feel you want to throw out, Feel the free, excuse me, feel free to get the fuck up off my channel right now. You don't have to watch me. Nobody makes you click on me. You click because I give you real information. If you don't like how I give it, watch somebody else. But you're going to be respectful over here. I don't come to your house and be disrespectful. You're not going to come to mine and be disrespectful. It's positive energy over here, love and light, babies. But you will not disrespect me and my shit. Now, public service announcement over. Back to the <laughs> regular schedule program. Because I will, I will block your ass. You don't have to come over here. Pisces, I'm sorry, y'all. But um, I let the person slide one time with a comment. I just deleted it. But I guess they felt like it wasn't enough. The second time they came, I replied to their comment. I guess they felt like that wasn't enough. So when they came for me the third time, I just blocked them. But they probably going to come from another channel again with that BS. I don't have time to play games. If you don't like what I do, don't come and watch. It's, it's, it's thousands of good-ass readers out here. But you're not going to disrespect me in my shit. Pisces. All places. All placements. Thank you. Okay, Pisces. So when it comes to your love life, um, there is something that you put it into. You may be trying to heal at this time. You may be trying to seek guidance to see what is the next step here. Um, I do be I do be. I don't know what I'm talking. About. I I do feel like um, <laughs> you're so ancestors here are sending you messages at this time you're getting some type of downloads your spirit guides here are trying to send you a download there could be something that you're refusing to see at this time and they're trying to get this message across to you it's about a relationship here it's about something that has to do with your heart a love situation all this green Tell me more for my Pisces. What's going on here? Okay, so I do feel like you're being divinely guided with this seven here. Daydreams and decisions. Okay, so Pisces, you know you guys live in a fantasy world. We live in a fantasy world sometimes. We get caught up in our daydreams, right? And sometimes it can influence our decisions or the choices that we make. And I do feel like someone needs to seek the truth here when it comes to a, a, a connection here. Someone needs to come in and speak their truth. Someone could have been speaking their truth and maybe you weren't trying to hear them because you were caught up in some type of daydream. Some type of illusion of what you wanted a connection to be here. But you were divinely guided to end this connection. So maybe there was somebody you thought was a soulmate. Maybe there was somebody you thought was your twin flame. Somebody that you thought you were supposed to be with your Pisces, right? And in your heart, in your mind, you know what I'm saying? You had built this, this, this fantasy world. This daydream of you guys having a happy family, living together, you know, the whole nine. Whatever your, your, your dream is for you and that person. And I do feel like it did not work out. This connection came to end. Maybe you didn't want to end it. Maybe it took you a long time to end it. Or you need to end it. You're still holding on to an illusion about somebody. 
you still you still you're still holding on to the potential of this person and not actually seeing this person for who they are or for what they were and I, I feel like that's what you were holding on to but I do feel like either you you've heard some truth somebody's coming and spoke a truth you finally believe in this truth here but I do feel like you you're being divinely guided yeah and now that you know the truth, you're no longer living in this illusion or, or daydream here. You're starting to heal. The healing begins. Right? We got in that heal again. Yeah. You're breaking the chains. I feel like, yeah, it could be a soul tie. Some type of soul tie here. This could have been with a karmic connection here. This could have been a soulmate that you had to let go of. You were caught, though, up in the illusion of this. And I feel like once you realize the truth, you started healing, or you need to start healing here, healing your heart, breaking that chain, getting your power back. You know, that's crazy. Six, seven, 17 makes an eight, nine. So I do feel like even though they're not lined up in order, I do feel like there was an order to this. So some of you guys have already walked away from this person. Y'all saw the truth. You came out of delusion. You, you've you been out, out here meditating, healing, doing the work, seeking guidance here on how to move forward, breaking these chains. Others of you guys, the Spirit says you need to do this at this time. Okay? You have to change your focus because it's not this person. This is not your person. Yeah, see, some of you are in this win or lose energy, like, but it's it, it wasn't your person. Yeah, you got a brand new beginning here. You're going to have a new vitality coming in, a new connection, something new here, babies. Yeah, that's going to bring you joy and stability. But it comes after you heal from whatever this is you were holding on to that you thought was your person. It's not your person. Are you waiting on somebody to return that's not going to return? Or then even if they do return, they're not they're not your person. They're going to return, but they're not going to be healed. They're not going to be ready. They're going to be in that same energy. And if you go back down that path, you're going to end up dealing with their karma. Pisces all placements. There was some truth. Can if I see Pisces, all placements? Yeah, you put up boundaries. I told you that you found out somebody's truth. But I do, and if you haven't, you need to. Some truth about somebody's is coming out here. And it's divine intervention. It says having sensible boundaries is important. Maybe you didn't have boundaries with this person in the past because you felt like this was a soul connection. You're a twin flame. You're a soulmate. You're, you're forever person. And it wasn't. And some truths came, came out. Maybe you were seeking some guidance. Yeah, with this recognition, you were recognizing that this was not your person. Clarify daydreams and decisions. Pisces energy. Yeah, I told you you had to let go. I can't make this up, y'all. You had to let go of the illusion. Let go of this person believing in their potential. Because they were showing you everything but that. But you were so caught up in, in your head in what this could be. Instead of seeing it for what it was. This person hurt you. This person, you know, treated you, you know, it's different for everybody. But they treated you any kind of way. Okay? They were in and out. They were more focused on themselves and what they wanted than your heart here, Pisces. Man or woman. But because you were so caught up in your head and what you thought this could be in their potential, you know, what you seen in them, that you lost yourself. You forgot your own boundaries. And Spirit says it's time to let go. Some of you guys have already let go. You're seeing the truth. You've heard the truth about this person. He says sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing. And now you're either focusing on healing, 
you guys have already healed. It just depends on where you are in this journey. And if you have not let go of this, you need to let go and start healing. Start trying to heal your heart. Yeah. Spiritual. Your spiritual journey is beginning. This is part of your spiritual journey. I told you. The divine stepped in. You are not supposed to be with this person. It's time to move on. Let go. You're holding yourself back on your path. Trying to hold on to somebody that's not for you. That's not supposed to be in your life. That's not supposed to come back. Spirit says it's time to rejoice that them chains are broken. Okay, this person was keeping you bound and stuck from following your spiritual path here. You do have a soulmate that's going to come in with this six. 17 is eight, and it will be abundant, but it's not with the person that you thought here, babies. Clarify, heal. Yeah, embrace. Embrace what destiny has in store for you. Release this person that you keep thinking is your person and they're not. Heal. Because you have a new connection. A connection that is eternal and unbreakable that is going to come towards you. Pisces. Pisces all places. Pisces all places. So advice for you guys. This is my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. This is the new love that's going to come into you once you heal, once you walk away from this. That connection that Spirit said was coming, that's what's going to come. You and your soulmate or your twin, whoever this is that's coming in for you, this new connection, you guys are spiritually connected. So you're already with this person, but you just have to heal so you can raise your vibration so they'll come in. Feeling whole. Feeling whole. More advice from my Pisces when it comes to this history. Spirit says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Okay, so there is love coming in here for you guys once you do the work. You got to let go though. Of whoever this other person is that you're holding on to. This person that you wanting or wishing will come back. You got to let go of the feelings of wanting karma to come for them. I'm serious, you guys. When y'all are in that energy of, ooh, they deserve that karma. Ooh, I can't wait till they get karma. That is not the right energy because that's going to cause karma back on you. You really need to feel bad for them. Oh, not feel bad for them. But, yeah, because karma going to kick their ass. But not feel bad. You don't have to feel bad. Just... What, what, Scott, what did your parents used to tell you? If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. That type of energy. If you don't have nothing nice to say, even though they fucked you over, don't say nothing at all. Because you still need to lead, lead with love. You have to forgive this person. That's how you heal. The forgiveness is not for them. The forgiveness is for you. And once you have no animosity towards somebody, once it doesn't matter what is going on, that's when you're truly healed. When you still got animosity, you're still in your feelings. That's still your ego. That's still your lower self. Holding on to that hurt and that pain. Let it go. Release. Break the chains. So that you can have something that is meant for you long term. One more. Uh -oh. Spirit says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. I can't read. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Let go of this. Because all you're going to bring to yourself is unnecessary stress, babies. 
Spirit says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. So, going back to what I said. Don't hold grudges against this person. Love and accept them for who they are and move on. Let it go. Because you have somebody that's going to come into your life. You're going to get that, that relationship that you've been wanting. Your life is going to magically transform. I heard one more, so I'll pull one more for advice. Spirit says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So let go of this hurt. Let go of the pain. It, it, hold on to the memories, the good times. Let go of the negative shit and move forward. Okay, babies? You got new love coming here with you. Be ready to make new memories. Share that love. Continue to vibrate high. Don't, don't lower your vibration down to that lower, lower energy here. If you got to cry, cry. But don't stay in it. You know what I'm saying? Feel your emotions. Don't block the emotions. But don't get stuck in it. And then release it, babies. Because the only thing you're blocking is you. Spirit says it's time for healing to begin. For others of you heal, break those chains. Because you got destiny waiting for you. You're on your spiritual path here, babies. Okay? So hopefully this resonates with you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. My personals are open. Um, my store is open. My other channels, links down below. For all my other YouTube channels, I do have a TikTok channel on the Tanya's Tarot, guys, if you're interested in that as well. I think that's all the business for now. So until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Mwah! And if I ever come to your house, I will respect your room. And thank you guys for respecting mine.